Commercial aviation has been on the road to recovery since the global pandemic-related downturn. At a global level, almost all regions have seen almost complete recovery of their domestic air travel sectors. However, some regions, such as the Asia-Pacific, including China, have not completely reached the pre-pandemic passenger demand. Airbus states in its recent global market forecast that the global aviation industry will require over 40,000 new passenger and freighter aircraft in the next 20 years. These numbers include aircraft that would replace the existing fleet and also ones that would be added as a result of anticipated growth in demand. Airbus emphasizes its own aircraft offerings in single-aisle, wide-body and freighter categories. With all of this in mind, which in-production aircraft are in highest demand at Airbus right now? It's something we'll look at for today's video. Like any good business trying to sell their products, Airbus is keen to highlight the importance of having new generation aircraft. The plane maker sees its newest offerings as a key way to minimize carbon emissions in the environment. Airbus shows that while new generation aircraft have gradually replaced older generation jets in the last five years, there is still a long way to go. In 2017, only 5% of the global fleet comprised new generation aircraft. In 2019, the full pre-pandemic year, nearly 13% of the global fleet was new generation fuel-efficient aircraft. During the pandemic, many operators retired their older aircraft and later replaced them with new, fuel-efficient ones. As of 2022, approximately 25% of the global fleet comprises new generation aircraft. The short-term priority is to replace the remaining 75% previous generation fleets. Considering the increasing demand for new fuel-efficient aircraft, Manufacturers such as Airbus and Boeing are working hard to increase their aircraft production. Airlines are keen to receive their ordered jets, some of which have a lead time of several years. The manufacturers recognize the order backlog and the need to replace the aging jets in the market. Whether it's Airbus or Boeing, plane makers are limited by supply chain issues in the industry. From raw materials to components and assemblies, ongoing challenges with the supply chain are severely hurting new aircraft production and deliveries. Let's get into our list of five Airbus aircraft types or families with the largest backlogs and the type of role they fill in the commercial air travel industry. At number five is the Airbus A350F. The Airbus A350F got the launch approval from the board in July 2021. Airbus has based the model on the A350-1000 with a larger cargo capacity of 90 tons. The aircraft will have a 10% larger cargo volume than the Boeing 777F. The capacity is similar to that of the Boeing 747-8F. According to Airbus, based on the top-selling clean sheet design A350, the A350F leverages all the benefits of the A350 to help large, wide-body freight operators make a clean start towards a more sustainable and profitable future. The A350 family benefits from cutting-edge aerodynamics optimized from nose-to-tail and wingtip-to-wingtip, and A350F brings latest-generation efficiency and choice to the large freighter market. The aircraft is scheduled to enter commercial cargo service in 2025. As of September 2023, the A350F has a backlog of 39 aircraft. Number 4 is the Airbus A330neo. Launched in 2014, this jet is based on the A330 with two variants, the Dash 800 based on A330-200 and the Dash 900 based on the Dash 300. The A330-800 has a range of 8,150 nautical miles or 15,090 kilometers and has a seating capacity of 257 passengers. The A330-900neo can fly a range of 7,200 nautical miles or 13,330 kilometers and can operate 287 passengers. Airbus claims that the A330neo provides lower operating costs than the A330s due to enhanced wing technology and the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines. 
The aircraft is also superior in terms of environmental impact, with Airbus highlighting a double-digit reduction in fuel burn CO2 emissions. Airbus goes on to say, For the many customers that already fly A330 aircraft, the A330neo is a seamless and low-risk replacement. The same crews that currently fly A330s can easily transition to the A330neo after just a half day of training, as the same type rating applies to both versions. As of September 2023, the A330neo family had a backlog of 223 aircraft. At number three is the passenger A350. This wide-body family consists of two major variants, the A350-900 and the Dash 1000. Fuel efficient for both the short-haul and long-haul routes, Airbus's top seller can seat up to 480 passengers in a single-class configuration. The A350 has 25% lower fuel burn compared to previous generation aircraft of similar size. On this type, Airbus states, the A350 family benefits from cutting-edge aerodynamics that provide a smooth ride for passengers and increased efficiency for airline operators. Its airframe uses more than 70% advanced materials such as composites, titanium and modern aluminium alloys to create a lighter and more cost-efficient aircraft while increasing resistance to corrosion and reducing maintenance. As of September 2023, the A350 family had a backlog of 450 aircraft. At number two is the Airbus A220 family. This consists of the A220-100 and Dash 300 aircraft. With the program acquired from Bombardier, Airbus claims that the A220 cabin feels like a wide-body cabin for passengers. Moreover, the aircraft is 25% more fuel-efficient per seat compared to the previous generation aircraft. Powering the A220-100 and the A220-300 are two Pratt & Whitney GTF engines specifically tailored for the A220, with a bypass ratio of 12 to 1. Airbus says that this is among the highest of any turbofan engine in the world. The engines contribute to the A220's 25% lower fuel burn per seat when compared to previous generation aircraft as well as half the noise footprint and decreased emissions. As of September 2023, the A220 family had a backlog of 519 aircraft. Last year, the company delivered its 220th aircraft to JetBlue, marking a major milestone for the program. With a gradual ramping up of production capabilities, the company aims to reduce the backlog of this popular next-generation narrowbody. And finally, at number one, is the Airbus A320 family. In terms of sizing, this aircraft family includes the A318, A319, A320 and A321 aircraft. The higher the number, the longer the fuselage. In its entirety, the family includes both the CO or current engine option and NEO or new engine option aircraft. The Airbus A321 also comes in LR for long-range and XLR for extra-long-range configurations. The A320 family is versatile in its offerings, operations and route economics. Airbus highlights the fact that A320 family aircraft have served destinations ranging from hot, desert environments to icy Antarctic landing sites. The type has also flown from short urban runways and remote high-altitude airports. As of September 2023, the A320 family had an impressive backlog of 6,734 aircraft. While the company ramps up production at various A320 facilities worldwide, most airlines have to wait years until they see their aircraft in the skies. What are your thoughts on the backlog of Airbus's new generation aircraft? Let us know in the comments section. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.